Hello everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and it is such a pleasure to be back. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. And welcome to How's That Sessions live from Cobalt Studios. We are live at 7 p.m. every other Sunday. Plus next Sunday, we will also be having uh, Assembly Lane. Sorry for postponing that um, earlier this year. Uh, we just had to um, top up the health and safety stuff here to make sure that we're doing stuff Safely and responsibly. Um, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so tonight I am joined by a superb singer and ban banjo player playing North American old time and blues as well as his brilliant own material. Longtime member of Holly and the Reavers with whom he has supported Billy Bragg at the Sage Gateshead. Plus the first man to swim upside down. Ladies and gentlemen, Bertie Armstrong. How's it going, bro? Good, man. Thanks so much for having me. Absolute pleasure, man. Um, who are you here with tonight? What's her name? Um, this is... Uh, fuck. Belinda. <laughs> um, she, she's beautiful. She is beautiful, yeah. It's been, been a tough year with Belinda, but you know. She's... she's <laughs> Put, she survived. And put strain on the best of relationships. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, of the group. <laughs> um, Alistair Paul says, hey. Hi, Alistair. Drew Lecay says, hey. Izzy Cook, it is all going well. Thank you, Jamie Cook. It is going well. Thank you, Jamie. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. I did ask, didn't I? Yeah. I yeah. So. <laughs> um, Bertie, do you want to get straight in there yeah. and introduce and play I'll, some I'll, tunes for us? I'll with play this? a song. Yeah, I'll play one of my own first. Um, Excellent, take it away man. This is a song called Castle Across the Water. You might have heard a snippet of it already if you saw the promotional video that Jamie made. So, this is Castle Across the Water. When my sin 
castle across the water. Ride that train through the hills and through the valleys in the rain. Past the castle across the water. Stunning, man. Thank oh, you. this is so nice. <laughs> what a treat. Nice to be playing music again, man. Yeah. Do you remember that? Do you remember that stuff? It's but a distant memory. <laughs> uh, we've got Janice Burns over here on the live chat saying, oh. hey, looking and sounding amazing. Hi, love Janice. heart, love heart, love heart. I'm sure you're looking and sounding amazing too. Oh, he's a smooth one. Oh, Bertie. Uh, and he says, oh, I miss you, Bertie. And Rosen D 111 says, very nice. Oh, thank you. There you go. Um, I'm going to move on and do my second song. Um, and this is uh, a folk song from the Northeast um, called Here's the Tender Coming. Um, and it's just one of those songs that I feel as though I've just known forever. <laughs> I can't even remember where I first heard it. Exactly. Yeah. And I often sing it, not on someone's birthday, but when there's a tender coming. <laughs> right, so <laughs> this is Here's the Tender Coming. tunings man. <laughs> I'll get it right eventually. The banjo was fine. Yeah it's it's a little bit changeable in here isn't it the it is. temperature on that. Peter Cook proper quality man. Niles Krieger woohoo. Janice Burns nice t-shirt Jamie. It's a good one. It's a bolter one. Ah. I'll be telling you about that later. I heard they're pretty good. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Makes for Drew 
ship you out of here They will ship you foreign That is what it means Is the tender coming Bunny Lassie, let's go to the law. See the tender lying of its shields bar. With her colors flying. The anchor's at her bow She's taken my bonny laddie Best of all the crew And here's the tender coming Here's the tender coming Pressing all the men Oh dear Henny What will we do then? Here's the tender Off its shields bar Here's the tender coming Full of men of war You! <laughs> <laughs> Slow clap. Oh my god, that was so lovely, man. Thank you. Nice job, dude. Uh, everyone at home agreeing with me there. Michael Armstrong, yeah, but I've missed this so, so much. Exclamation marks. Thanks, Dad. Uh, is that, <laughs> is that <laughs> your pops? <laughs> Hello, pops. How's it going? Uh, Holly Clark, hooray for beards and banjos. Uh, Alfie A, can you play the TikTok sea shanty song, please, Bertie? What is that? Is it a thing that you know about? No. I mean, okay. I, <laughs> Moving swiftly I'll give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? And you're you're trying to pretend that you don't know it. Because I, it's, I've, I'm, it's become a thing now, isn't it? Like has sea it? shanties, a yeah, a big with with the kids. We were on that <laughs> shit well before TikTok was even invented, weren't we, Bertie? We so, uh, Alfie, yeah, thank you for for watching and, and tuning was, in. Uh, singing them. <laughs> But uh, not today, Alfie. Sorry. Oh my God, there's uh, Claire Armstrong as well. Oh my God. Stop <laughs> embarrassing me. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Says it's lush. Hello, Claire. Um, yeah, so I like to um, have a little chat with uh, the musicians whilst we're here, Betty. Just, um, I know you've seen the other ones, because um, you don't normally get to hear stuff like the stories of how people came to music, that's one of the main things I'm interested in. Yeah. How, what's the story for you? How did you um, begin playing? I don't know. I just, like, I've always loved listening to music, I guess. I remember um, one of my earliest memories is my mum used to put on um, the album After the Gold Rush by Neil Young to put me asleep uh, when I was little. And I think just, like, ever since then, I've just loved music you know and then um i can't remember how old i was um maybe like 13 i thought banjos are cool 
I'm going to get a banjo. We because... all have a banjo phase, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> mine's just longer and, you know, than most, unfortunately. Yeah, you'll get over I'll, it. I'll so. get over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, never do, man. No, no, never yeah. do. Move on to something more more serious, you know. Like, like driving or something. Driving, like. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who needs driving when you can play a banjo? <laughs> that's what I say. Yeah. Um, oh, that's really nice. So, do, do, do you feel like your folks from, from Pops as well? Is he interested in music? Or? Um, and, uh, no one else in the family is really musical in the sense that they like play music. Um, yeah. Everyone, like, listens to music a lot, and we had a lot of, like, music being played in the house, you know, when I was younger and that kind of thing. I used to go to, like, music festivals and everything, but, um... As a family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. as a family, which That's was nice from, from quite, like, a young age as well, which is uh, a, a, a nice way to sort of get involved in all that kind of thing, so... For sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's just part of the fabric of life, you know? That, that it is. That it is. <laughs> um... So, are you from Bertie Newcastle? I'm from Bertie Newcastle. Are you, are you from Newcastle, Bertie? I, well, so. I am from Bertie Newcastle. Are you from yeah. Bertie Newcastle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm from Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. Originally. yeah. Um, um, so, I know that you, you have played in a lot of projects locally and stuff. A couple, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what are some of those? What are some um, of those projects? One has been uh, Holly and the Reavers, which you've mentioned before, um, which is... I think she's watching, isn't she? She's in the live chat. Holly, how's it going? Um, Big up. <laughs> with my, my good friend Holly and my other good friend Mill. That's a little trio. Um, and we've... Yeah, to be honest, most of my gigging so far has been with them. Um, like, as you said, we managed to support Billy Bragg in Hall 1 of the Sage, yeah. which was probably the most surreal moment of my entire life. But, uh, Let's talk about that later. <laughs> okay, but, then. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Um, but that's that's amazing. Yeah, big up yeah, Holly was, for uh, for um, lining that up. Yeah. Yeah. So the lineup in that band that's you accompanying Holly yeah. on acoustic and singing and yeah, uh, Holly Holly sings and plays guitar and then I play my banjo and also sing sometimes do harmonies and stuff and then. Our friend uh, Mill plays fiddle and sings as well. So it's yeah, kind of kind of a nice little simple simple trio. But I think we we all work really well together. So. Yeah, nice. that's that is how I was introduced to you. I think I, mm. I remember watching Holly, um, who is incredible in her own right. Do check her music out, um, and as, as well as just really loving the the tunes and and uh, and. Uh, all of that. It might have even been here, you know, in Cobalt. Yeah, I think I think it would <clears throat> well have been. Um, yeah. One of our earliest gigs was in here. So, yeah. yeah. But I just remember seeing uh, you and Merle just being amazing accompanists and, and just sort of mm. appreciating the, the art of accompanying. Yeah. Because you, you, you have to listen and be Definitely. attentive. And, yeah, you really... Um, I, I really love doing that as well. Like, it's such a different feeling for from like performing like solo or with a band behind you because like you really get to sort of like react to how the 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 sort of front person is is playing and stuff and like being able to play with holly as well who anyone who's heard holly knows that she's just like an absolutely incredible singer and like musician um so yeah it's just so great to be able to play and like accompany her and stuff yeah yeah Amazing. Um, sweet. So let's chat a bit about EP1, perhaps after some more tunes. Yeah. Sweet. Um, have it. I'll do... What, what's next? Okay, I'm going to sing um, a song that is not my own. Um, and it's also not a traditional song. It's a song that was written by um, a folk singer, um, a US folk singer from the 60s called... Uh, Phil Ox, um, who is, oh, he's just amazing. You should uh, <laughs> go look up some of his music. And um, he was an absolutely incredible songwriter and also like political songwriter as well and political satirist. Um, and he wrote a load of amazing political songs. Um, and this is just one of my favourite songs of his. It's called um, There But For Fortune. I'll get there eventually. 
We've got Matthew Ralph here saying, Hi, Bertie. Tilly is, is dancing to your fine tunes and you sent M to sleep. Thank you. That's nice. <laughs> Are you saying that you sent her to sleep? You're boring. Boring, Bertie. Oh. <laughs> you have to play more. <laughs> well, stuff off stuff. TikTok, mate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... I haven't yet broken into the sort of the TikTok market, but it's, um, it's pretty high up there on the list, so you know, keep, keep an eye out. <laughs> right, this is a uh, There But For Fortune. Ben Mason says, show me the whiskey. <laughs> well, yeah. And it's just, totally. it's also asked, what is your favourite green vegetable? <laughs> oh, man. Um, fuck, that's a hard question. 
genuinely, that's a tough question. Green vegetables. We've got cucumbers, we've got sugar how, snaps. How long have we got? Because I'm going to have to take a uh, while to think about this. I think we, I can give you about 20 minutes for this. All right, so okay. see yeah. um, I'll just get into my thinking zone. <laughs> green pepper. Uh, Lam McMahon green is suggesting pepper. the mushy pea. Oh, a mushy pea. Does mushy pea count? I'm not sure. If you go in straight up vegetable, because mushy pea is like a form of pea, right? So you'd have to just pick pea and all. I don't think it grows mushy. So yeah, I don't well, know. Well, as far so. as you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, green pepper see? though, that's what I'm going for. Green pepper. Yeah. Um, there you go. What's the uh, Ready Steady Cook guy called again? Um, Har Harriet? Uh, Something? Yeah. He'd be happy to hear that. I'm sure he would. Yeah, cool. Well, great. I'll send him love. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, uh, Harriet. <laughs> right, Hope you're enjoying. Um, I've got, got another one. This one I hadn't actually prepared to play tonight. This is my fault, but uh, he's but been uh, very Jamie, professional. Jamie requested it, especially. He begged me um, <laughs> and st he started crying. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I told, I told Betty he has to do this one. It's the song. Um, this is one of my songs called Head Spins Slow. Um, and it's one of those songs where, you know, like, Everyone has to have like a, a, a certain, like there's one type of song that everyone has to have that song. And that type of song is mental breakdown in Norway song. You know, everyone has one. So this is my, <laughs> my one of those ones. Great. Another one of them. So this is head spin slow. If I uh, if I fuck up, which I most likely will. Wait, are we allowed to swear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, it's Jamie's fault. So yeah. blame blame Jamie. I'll take it. So I try to sleep. 
slip away to a world that I create with my friends there I don't feel alone and the tales that we have told and the stories that unfold down twisting roads twisting roads and my back is bent and my knees are broke Feeling too Well, I went to clear my mind Had some things I had to leave behind On a rocky northbound path Far from home What you think you know Ain't the way things often go Should've known Should've known Stunning. Thanks so much, man. Such go. a treat. <laughs> oh, he wasn't going to play that. Can you imagine that, folks? <laughs> to keep people on their toes, you know. <laughs> How far are we in? Is that four songs? That? That, that's four songs, yeah. That's four songs. Sweet. So we've got some more music to come, folks. Um, quickly check, check in with the live chat here. Uh, there's a lot of um, <laughs> there's a lot of mushy mushy pee chat, Bertie. I'm <laughs> sure you'd be pleased to find what, out. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Guess, you know. <laughs> Real person says beautiful playing. Tangle Giraffe says out of all the mental breakdown in Norway songs I've heard, this one is by far the best. Oh wow, that's thanks. That's yeah. high praise. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Niles Krieger says enjoying the mushy pee chat. I'm sure you are, Niles. And we also had, I believe. How do you pronounce this name? Oshi? Is that oh, Oshin, Oshi Kisden yeah. Island? Huh? What is it? Oshin, I think, is it? Oshin? Is that right? We've got Oshins in... Um, hey! Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm late. Uh, welcome, Oshin. I hope that we're pronouncing that right. Uh, it was quite disturbing you coming in late there, Oshin. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it down. Oshin! Oh, <laughs> um, all right, Bertie. So, we did... Briefly hear um, a little bit about you playing with Billy Bragg, with the Holly, Holly, Cro Holly Clark no, and the Reavers. Yeah. We supported him. We didn't get to play with him, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, kissing Billy Bragg. Well, well, tell yeah. us a bit. <laughs> you said you weren't going to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about the experience. What was it like? How did it happen? Um, it was just... Did he use tongues? <laughs> uh, well, I think everyone knows the answer to that question. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it was just absolutely <laughs> surreal. Um, so it was through the Folk on the Tyne Festival at the Sage. Um, and Holly had originally been asked to do the support uh, slot solo. Um, but good old Holly managed to, to do some wrangling and managed to get us the, uh, the gig as the band, which was amazing. Because basically as soon as we heard that she was going to be supporting Billy Bragg, me and Mill, like, <laughs> We're not going to let you unless you're playing with us. Like, I will play for nothing. Yeah, yeah. I will pay you to play. <laughs> well, yeah, we won't even get into that. How much yeah. you have to pay you, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it was just crazy. It was um, Hall 1 of the Sage. Yeah. Um, for, for, for anyone watching who's not familiar with the Sage, it's the Hall 1 is the, the, the most, uh, the, it's the best acoustic hall in Europe. It's like a serious venue. 
So playing in there in the first place is just ridiculous. And then, uh, yeah, it was mental. Um, the weirdest thing was how small the, the stage seemed though when you're on it. Really? <laughs> yeah, because when you're watching someone at Hall One, it seems massive. Yeah, like, yeah. The actual stage that you're on, like it's it's big, but it's not like as massive as I was expecting it to be. You know? Yeah, for your usual sort of backflips and I all was, that. I was, yeah, yeah. I was really disappointed. You know, they, um, <laughs> I was gonna like do the worm on, but they said it wasn't big enough for my, for my worm <laughs> flows. You know. <laughs> Um, wow, man. Well, very jealous. Um, that is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it was, it was mental. <laughs> yeah, but then, I don't know, man. It's, he, he's an amazing singer-songwriter, and then I, yeah, I've got to put you up there, dude. I'm a real fan. Same with Holly. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's wor worthy, uh, worthy musicians for that spot, I would say. Um, have you played Cobalt before, Bertie? I have played Cobalt before, yeah. Yeah, do you have any... Um, Lovely memories of, of playing here, attending gigs here, any standout yeah, moments? Yeah, I, I, yeah I've, uh, a bunch actually. A bunch of seeing like friends' bands and stuff here as well. Like it's just such a great venue. Got so many good memories. I mean, one of the first uh, gigs with not quite the first one, but one of the early ones with Holly and the Reavers was here as well. Um, and that was a really lush time. And then I did a gig with a few other people um, from uni. Um, uh, Anna and Maisie, who are my friends from uni. Um, Anna, who's in Balta, who, uh, and a few other people as well. Or we did like a sort of variety gig here with a few different people. And that, I just remember that was such a lovely night. Um, such great music and like so many nice, nice friendly people. Yeah. yeah. I miss it. Yeah, well, <laughs> here you are. And everyone is enjoying a little slice of, of, of Cobalt exactly. um, once again tonight. So how nice is that? Um, dude, the first man to swim upside down. I know. How yeah. did it feel? Well, how does it feel down there? Tell me. <laughs> well, I'll tell you the funny story about how it, how it began as well. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, I'm, I'm an avid swimmer. Yeah. I swim three, yeah. For the right three, way up, right? Yeah. Well, most what? of the time, three times a day, you know. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd I'd recently got into um, walking upside down, which is a little bit. People have done. I love that album. Before. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and I and I was practicing. I was walking upside down, and I uh, walked all the way to the swimming pool. Just forgot to get right. Right. Right up again. Started swimming before you know it. There I was. <laughs> Swimming upside down, you know the police were called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. It would, I, I feel like we need to tell people at home: don't swim upside down. Okay, leave no, it yeah, yeah, to yeah. Bertie. Leave it to the pros. Uh, yeah, I, I've I've trained since then. You know, <laughs> the wow, the the experience that uh, this man has seen. I'm I'm disappointed Earlier. you didn't bring out the uh, paddling pool so we could. Do yeah. it. <laughs> Next time, maybe. Have it live. Jesus, <laughs> we totally should have done that. Um, all right, before we hear the final lovely little bit of music from Bertie tonight, um, we, of course, need to play a bit of Danger Sprout. <laughs> here we go, folks. I'm just going to quickly run over here um, and get us all set. Give me one moment. Usually when we've got more people in the band, someone has that job, but I just did it, so uh, more money for me at the end of the night. <laughs> Man, that high score. Yeah, so for anyone that hasn't seen this game before, it's Danger Sprout, okay? It's Danger Sprout! It's Danger Sprout! <laughs> uh, Mum has been eating a lovely plate of sprouts, but she's left the room leaving one left. The house at head has jumped onto the table and has eaten that sprout. He shouldn't have done it, okay? And he needs to spit it out and try and get it back as close to the center of the plate as he can. Martha, just before Christmas on our lovely Christmas special, got 2,122,849 points. I can tell you, I know you're all wondering at home, is it even possible to get more than that? I'm telling you, it is. Okay? Bertie, oh, 
The sprout's velocity is controlled <laughs> by a sound that leaves your mouth. It can be any sound, uh, but the, the main factor that we're looking for is the duration of the sound. Uh, you want to cook it up and want to get it to the right sort of temperature to try and get it to land perfectly this, on the plate centre. This pressure is fucking unbelievable. Yeah, well, uh, you've, you've uh, swum upside down, Bertie, so uh, this should be uh, within reach. What do you reckon? Are you going to give it a shot? I'm, I'm just, I don't get a practice round, do I? It's just all in. No. Okay, yeah, see. so Bertie did ask me before, because uh, she was saying the other bands are at an advantage. Yeah. Um, all, all the other bands, every band member got a shot, you know? Yeah, so... I'm all, all here by myself. I did tell him then that uh, he, <laughs> he would only get one shot. But, uh, in truth, I'm going to give you, Bertie, one go at this game, and then I'm going to give your old banjo Belinda. there... Oh, what's her name again? Belinda. <laughs> Belinda. A go as well. So you can nice. decide what you want to go first with. Uh, the band, oh, well, it does, are you going to let Belinda go first? Yeah, or but, uh, you know. Okay. Banjo's first. All right. <laughs> Am I so, right? Shall I just make sound? Yeah, or? yeah, maybe we're looking for a sort of tremolo -y thing. I don't know how you want to do it, man. But, um, Me neither. Let's... Leave it to Belinda. It's her, it's her go. Give me the thumbs up when, when she's ready to go. Okay, folks. The sprout is in the mouth. Mum is on her way back to the room. The sprout... To the center of the plate, please, Belinda. It's good. It's very good. It's gone to the center of the plate and beyond. We're still on the plate. There it is. It's found the plate. And there is a modest score of 4,489. A little bit too much gas there. A little bit too much gas, Belinda. Belinda. Thank you for your, uh, for your efforts there, but let's see if your old friend Bertie <laughs> can do better. Here we go. Bertie, the sprout to the center of the plate, please. Oh! Okay, the sprout is bouncing. It's bouncing again. We are on the plate. We are moving towards the center and coming to a halt very close there. Nine, uh, 960,400! Wow! Bertie, it's not quite Martha's score. It I'm, is I'm possible to get better than Martha, I'm telling you, but that is pretty serious stuff. I'm gonna mm. start, uh, we've got enough scores now to start having a, a, an all time uh, high scores. And I, Where I'm. Do you think I'm I, sit on that I think that's number two, man. Oh, well, I'll be happy with number two, you know. Yeah, well, uh, Belinda. Fuck off, Bertie. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, lovely. And uh, yeah, of course, guys. Uh, so that's, that's, that's the Sprout game. Obviously, any gig is uh, not complete without that. Um, but this is your moment now, guys, before Bertie plays us out. We actually have an amazing opportunity for you to win some prizes by calling up the show. That's right, if you grab your phone now and punch in the numbers that are about to come on the screen and phone, you have the chance to win two How's That TV t-shirts. They come in white, they come in orange. You will get the full selection of original How's That TV t-shirts, plus a Bertie's EP1 on Bandcamp. You can get it, down, uh, download it yourselves, but you'll get that for free, plus this amazing piece of art that Bertie has, uh, I'm just, there's the number, there's the number folks. Uh, Bertie's made it himself. Uh, it's an original piece of art. It features someone called Tennis Adams. It features someone called, uh, oh, hang on a sec, how am I? Can you see the number? There's the number. There's a bloody number. Uh, <laughs> uh, here we go, and then that. There we go, 0141628, one, we've got a caller, we've got a caller, uh, we've got Tennis Adams that you could win, uh, playing Tim Schlur, the two professional tennis players, Bertie's hand drawn it, let's see who's won it, hello, welcome to How's That Sessions, who is this? Hello. Hello, who is it? Uh, it's Georgia. 
It's Georgia, Georgia. Congratulations to you. You have won two How's That TV t-shirts, Bertie's amazing EP1, and his beautiful hand-drawn image um, of two... I'm going to hold it up to the camera now. You can have a look at what you've won. How do you feel, Georgia? Uh, privileged. Privileged. <laughs> She's absolutely ecstatic, folks, Georgia. <laughs> Thank you for phoning up. Congratulations. Would you like your own go at the Sprout game, seeing as you've gotten this far, Georgia? Uh, totally. Yeah? Okay. So uh, <laughs> yeah. if that wasn't enough um, fun for you, Georgia, you can now try yourself to find the centre of the plate. Are you ready? small one <laughs> there it is <laughs> well done georgia we are well on the way to the plate there not quite uh all the way 289 points congratulations for that but oh, the well. real <laughs> uh am i patronizing you here that was, <laughs> it was really good <laughs> uh well done georgia thank you for phoning up and enjoy those things uh they're all very exciting the how's that tv shirts and of course bertie's amazing ep so uh thank you you. Thanks a lot. See you later, Georgia. Bye now. There we go. <laughs> she was over the moon there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just show you that picture once again. This, so Bertie's drawn this and signed it. Tennis Adams and uh, Tim uh, Schler. I can't take all the, um, the credit, though, because you provided the character. <laughs> Bertie asked me for a, a character, uh, the name of a character to draw, and I gave him two to choose from and then he drew both so georgia that is all yours that is on its way to you um all right guys that is enough silliness for now uh i did quickly mention uh, in in the prizes there there was bertie's ep bertie's ep is out it came out last year uh and it's just five pounds on Bandcamp. it's really really good uh six beautiful songs um so if you're enjoying this tonight maybe hop over there and uh, get it. If you pay your fiver, you get unlimited streams on Bandcamp and then you can download it as well and all that stuff. So, yeah, there you go. Birdie. All right. I've got two more, two more songs. Well, one tune and two songs. Yeah. Um, I just realized at the start when you introduced me, you introduced me as like playing American like old time and, and blues music, which I usually do, but yeah. I'm actually not playing any today. So. Instead, really? I'm going to play a Russian folk tune. All right, just to try and make me look like an idiot. Cheers, mate. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> just pretend this is like an American folk tune. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a, a Russian folk tune called Meadowlands, um, which is a tune I've known for ages. Um, I've never really sort of played it at a gig or anything. Um, and then I was just playing it the other day and I thought, oh, that's a nice tune. I'll play that for people. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it's not usually the kind of thing I do. But... So this is Meadowlands.
I'm at mine at home saying, Fwa, that little vibrato. Uh, <laughs> Alfie A saying, it's rigged, I should have won. Bullshit. Well, it's true. Yeah, well, it, it, it is rigged, but, you know. <laughs> oh, fuck, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> nah, man, it's legit. Where do I think my the rumours are false. Um, okay, right, my last song. Well, first off, thanks so much for having me on, Jamie. It's been... So much fun. It's just been great to be able to like play music to people again, um, even if it is <laughs> via cameras and stuff, you know? Yeah, there's, well, there's a whole host of people at home watching, man, and they're absolutely loving it. John Doran says, yay. Janice Burns, what? That's so cool. Uh, <laughs> Oishin again. How are we saying that name? Ois. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Oshin, I think. Oshin, I'm so sorry, Oshin. Uh, saying whoop, whoop. We've got clap, clap, clap. Alistair Paul, nice score, Bert. Uh, what about his music? That's the problem when you play Danger Sprout. That's all That's people all can people talk about. Anymore. I have this trouble all the time, you know. Like, <laughs> I want to be recognised for my music, but all I'm ever recognised for is my Danger Sprout skills <laughs> and my upside down swimming. <laughs> It's a curse, you know? It yeah. It really is. It ain't easy. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to finish off with uh, another original song. Um, it's not a very happy song. I realise that hardly any of the songs I've been playing have been very happy. This one sounds a bit more happy. Um, it's called Winter's Cold. Um, and I wrote it, uh, I wrote it last Christmas, um, on Christmas Eve. Um, Yeah, it's. Um, I, th I think it, it it's it's a political song, and I think it still sort of rings true now, probably even more so than uh, than when I wrote it. Um, but yeah, so this is this is winter's cold.
by the bank, sheds a tear and looks back at the ghosts of the people he knew. When they fade into dust, it lays thick on his clothes, and he knows, yes, he knows that it's been too long. Falls asleep in the snow He dies in the winter's cold Austerity rains Poison blood through the veins Of a country that I've never known Amazing. What an Thank absolute you. treat. Thank you, Bertie. Um, Janice Burns, my dad says you're amazing, Bertie. Oh, thanks, uh, Dad. Betsy Armstrong says, give, mu- give mum a birthday shout. Oh, yeah, it's my mum's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, mum. <laughs> <laughs> this is the whole family here, man. I know. Who's Betsy? It's my little sister. Yeah. Ah, oh, hello, Bex. God, uh, I hope there's other people watching. There are, there are, all, there are loads. I think I'm just drawn to those guys on the chat. Mm-hmm. Niles Krieger says tune. Um, Janice Byrne says oof, da, yeah, I love this one. Uh, Oshin says yes. Uh, Kelsey Milburn sounds like the soundtrack of a sad Toy Story, <laughs> Toy Story flashback. <laughs> I'd initially read that as a t- something to do with the Tories. That's why I couldn't read it. Tory. Yeah. Toys Tory. Toys <laughs> Tory. Yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, there you but go. Yeah, that's what I was going for, you know? Sad, <laughs> sad uh, Toy Story flashback. <laughs> Cinema. That's a new one. Yeah, I think she's saying that it's, uh, you know, Oscar worthy content yeah. there. So thank you. Um, thank you to Cobalt for um, oh, allowing you. us to do this and for helping us uh, get jumping through the hoops again so that we can do this uh, safely and all that stuff. There's some really exciting stuff coming up from Cobalt, this amazing venue, uh, which you can find out about by getting them on social media. I highly recommend doing that because they are about to open a sustainable ethical shop in Oosburn. So if you're within shopping distance, um, do check that out. It's called Ernie and it's coming very soon now. Uh, It's a matter of days away. Uh, And also... Cobalt is launching its own series of online events. Uh, So they're more visual arts sort of thing, uh, but they are due uh, relatively soon as well. So keep your eyes peeled for them. Uh, And please donate on the link below if you can. Uh, So not to worry if you're skint. This is still just as much for you as it is for anyone else. Um, But if you uh, can, it would be really, really helpful. It helps us to make these sessions happen. Um, so if you would consider donating something like uh, what you'd pay for a normal gig ticket, that would be phenomenal. Uh, I've also recently secured the headline act of these sessions. We're doing 10 of them, and the final act is in the bag. It is an act that uh, can play with a reduced amount of people or more people. So the more money we get, the bigger that last show will be. So please do donate if you can. Uh, like I say, not to worry if you can't. Uh, if you don't need any more incentive than that, there's a prize draw if you donate uh, and you stand a chance of winning a How's That TV t-shirt. Uh, I have drawn, out of the people that donated last time, Sarah Walpole. Congratulations to you, Sarah. You've got one of these on its way to you. Thank you for your donation and thank you everyone uh, so far that has donated. 
Um, if you are watching this back or listening back uh, on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Audible, um, and it is not quite Sunday the 24th yet, you still stand just as much chance of winning if you donate. So uh, there you go. Uh, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I believe in human spirit. We will get through this crazy time and we will dance together again. And until then, I will see you next Sunday at seven with Assembly Lane. Thank you. Thanks, Bertie. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Black.